Oops. I just pulled my webcam down. Uh, does it still work? Oh, uh, just a second. Yeah, it still works. What up? Okay, uh, Nixium. What is this here? Uh, but, uh, this is the, uh, okay, alright, there it is. Guys, I want you to imagine for one second the okay. rise of the Black Empire on Azeroth. Nazoth has risen from the depths. There's giant obelisks everywhere, insectoid bug people, tentacles Good. and eyeballs and- Wait, what the fuck? Where do we get this? It's long neck clamby. Tiny adorable fox people. <laughs> and a whole lot more. All of it coming to battle for Azeroth in its okay. upcoming patch. Now I, I'm Nixium, and I'm somewhat of an expert on tentacles from all my years as a I can teenager see that. watching And today, we are going to discuss this new patch and what is coming to World of Warcraft. Right. So stay tuned, because we got a lot to talk about. Good. All right. World of Warcraft BFA. When a new major patch is released in World of Warcraft, there is obviously going to be a new raid that is going to be added to the game. Usually. And this one's no different. In this patch, we're going to be indulging in a 12 boss, yeah, a 12 boss raid That's called a good number. I like a, it. Neolotha. Ni Neolot. Uh, I also have a tentacle ne head. Dude, nobody can pronounce these words. Anyway, in this raid, we're gonna fight the servants of the old god. Of course. Ranging from his nasty tentacle-infused monsters, yes. crazy cult humans, whatever else is in there. And ultimately, we are going to fight the old god himself. So, Which yeah. you shouldn't be able to fucking do, because the old god's an old god. You should be able to fight the old god, because it's, it's too strong. It doesn't make any fucking sense, because he's fully unleashed, and, you know, he's, like, super powerful, and, you know, he's, like, fucking part of the world, and you can't beat him. But, like, okay, whatever, sure. For those of you guys that thought that the next expansion was going to be this giant old god freak show... Yep. You were wrong. Blizzard established all this lore around Nazoth just to kill him in a single raid at the end of BFA. Now, I I'm not going to say anything. I'm uh... not going to say one word. You guys can say it down in the comment section down below, because I ain't going to say a thing. Until the end of the video. Okay. Okay, you know what? <sighs> if it makes sense, I'll be okay with it. Just Blizzard, make it make sense. Nazoth being the boss at the end of the expansion is fine. But it has to be badass. Blizzard, if you give us another fucking Madness of Deathwing plus Spine of Deathwing again, I'm going to be mad and I'm going to complain about it for 10 years, just like I've complained about Madness of Deathwing and Spine of Deathwing for 8 years so far. So if you do that, I will complain about it forever. Just, you know, listen. You don't want that to happen, do you? But the raid isn't all we're getting, because we're also going to see a lot of brand new things added to the game. Which is awesome. Now, the first of which are assaults, Great. which are just regular assaults, the same ones that we've done for quite a while now. Yes. But this time, these assaults are going to be on the purple. Titan facilities across Azeroth. They're purple. Now, there's not too much to say about assaults and blah, 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 because we've seen those purple. before. But then there is this. Horrific visions. <sighs> okay. That was way too spooky. Horrific visions are kind of like a solo, yet you can also do it in groups of up to five players, kind of dungeons, sort of, not really. Thing. The point is, you go into one of these two visions, both of which are either Orgrimmar or Stormwind, and you see what would become of the world if Nazoth were to win and claim victory. You literally are peeling back the veil to behold what the Old God's influence can lead to. Now that might sound... Okay. They can be cool. I think that the visions can be cool. I'm not sure if they will, but I think that they can be cool. I also worry, I, I'll be honest, guys, like scenarios <coughs> back in Mists of Pandaria, 
I hated them. I thought that heroic scenarios were absolute fucking dog shit. I, I never liked doing them, and they were boring to me entirely. Uh, I, I thought I think that islands were substantially better. I really, I, I mean, I think islands were a thousand times better. Not even like a little bit better. I think that islands are a thousand times better than scenarios ever were. And I hope that obviously these horrific visions can be good. But with a lot of these, like especially role agnostic bits of content that Blizzard has, uh, I, I don't ever really get my hopes up. Kind of whatever. But here's the catch. When you go into one of these visions, yeah. you will quickly be overcome by the power of the old god and his influence, and you're going to be forced from it. You're defeated. You yeah. just can't handle that level of mental corruption from Nazoth, until man. Next you week. ready. How well, until next week, whenever the artificial catch-up mechanism that allows you to progress farther into her visions will allow you to catch up naturally because they don't want you to be too far behind from the other players. But besides that, yes, of course. However, during your time in the vision, you will yeah. have a chance to collect items and resources that you can use to upgrade your Heart of Azeroth to make you able to stay in the visions longer, as well as making you in general more powerful when fighting the mobs in the visions and taking on the challenges. I think this is cool. I do. I do. I, I think this is actually this is actually cool. Now, Will I try this out on PTR? Yeah, I, I think so. I, I want to see what it's like, right? And like, I, I feel like we kind of owe it to Blizzard because let's be honest, guys. Like, I, I want to see retail WoW be good. Like, I want the game to be good. Straight up, like I, I, I'll level in classic. I love classic. I always play classic, but I also want retail WoW to be good. Like straight up, man. I, I do, and I feel like we should put our voices out there and fucking give our feedback i mean shit guys they're getting rid of titan forging maybe the game will be good one day visions and taking on the challenges you'll also be working with rathian that guy yeah. that everybody draws rule 34 of where he's banging anduin and you will Wait, help what? him craft a legendary cloak that will help you the player withstand rathian and his legendary cloaks while in these scenarios Great. So pretty much, the more that you do these horrific visions, the more resources you'll gather, yeah. the more you'll interact with Rathian, and the more you'll grow to tolerate and withstand the influence of the old god. Yeah. Until the point comes that you're able to defeat these visions entirely, whether you are solo or in a group. And of course, in the raid, whose name we're not going to attempt to pronounce again, these newly gained powers to your heart of Azeroth, the cloak, whatever, they're going to yeah. aid you in the raid as well with defeating Nazoth and his minions. Now, it's over to James with the weather. Okay. James? It's Yager Clock. What I'm trying to say is, I think this whole horrific visions idea, it's a pretty neat and creative, you know, idea. Yeah, it was whenever Path of Exile did it for Delve League, and so hopefully Blizzard will be able to come up with something and steal their idea and make it better. This is what Blizzard always used to do. This is why I used to love Blizzard, is that whenever a new MMO would come out with a better idea that Blizzard had, Blizzard would steal that idea and make that, that idea better than what it originally was. So finally called them out. Well, no, it, it's obviously like what it is. And Delve League is not some sort of like amazing fucking thing that nobody's ever thought of either. I mean, there's a million different versions of things like this happening in games where you have like a progression system that you have to get like a certain amount of like, I don't know, fucking like a, a, a level of resource to where you can progress farther in the game. Millions of games have this, but I think Path of Exile is the one that most people know of. Uh, I, I'm completely... <coughs> I'm completely open on this horrific visions idea, but my expectations are extremely low. I like it. It seems new, looks kind of cool, and we'll see how it does. However, I do worry that because there's only two horrific visions, yeah. this might get old Boring. and repetitive kind of quick, although yeah. I do like the progression system they're putting in, but 
I don't know. We'll have to wait Depends to find out. Depends on how repeatable Blizzard it is and what the rewards are. did say in their video, are. however, that these encounters, these visions, they're supposed to be really challenging. They're supposed to be annoying and difficult to overcome, similar to the Mage Tower back in Legion. So at least they're going to make it so it's not really that simple to clear through them. And that's good because we don't want people clearing this stuff after just one day. I mean, that would be stupid. Now, because of these attacks on the Titan forging facilities across Azeroth, Blizzard is talking about adding this sort of old god forging system into the game where it's it's kind of like titan forging. forging but it's like old god themed or something maybe they should do something and call it old forging where they don't have any forging because back in the old game there wasn't any and that's what they can call it every item will now be old forged it'll just have the baseline stats problem solved everybody's happy Except for the grinders and people that want to play the game nine hours a day to farm up a three percent, sorry, 0.3 percent upgrade for their helmet. Everybody else is going to be completely fucking happy. One of the reasons why I get excited for Classic WoW and like being able to raid on Tuesdays and on the, like for Anixia today and everything is that I can look forward to having that one time where I can actually make meaningful progress on my character. Whenever that time is all the time, it turns into this fucking just this overbearing bit of bullshit like blizzard had it right at the beginning where you didn't have to play your game 50 hours a day it's a lot by the way 50 hours a day in order to progress you just you, you did your raid you did your content and the progression sources were finite and that was a good thing because it meant that you didn't have to constantly feel like you had to keep up with the person that grinded the most in your guild you could just be at the same level as other people and it was completely self-imposed and it didn't have to be something where like oh blizzard is doing this with like an artificial catch-up mechanism you would just either do this or not and it was a thousand times better than creating all these other different systems to try to simulate the same thing that they already fucking had at the beginning of the fucking game I don't know. Now, personally, True. I don't like Titan forging. You True. guys know that. Big I don't trip. like the idea of Bobby putting in the hours and the work to earn a high item level piece of gear. True. And then Billy, he rolls Fuck into some you, low Billy. difficulty version of the content, does it, Billy's and a he dumb gets ass an bitch. item that Titan forges to the power of the same piece of gear Billy that is Bobby a dumb worked bitch. for and earned. I just don't find that to be fair. It's like putting I don't in either. the hours to get an A in a classroom, then some dillweed who sits in the back gets a D, but it Titan forges up to an A. How is that fair? Would you guys like a system? Well, here's the oh people, shit. Tentacles and eyeballs and wait, which one did I click? Oh, right there. Okay. Version for and earned. And does it, and he gets an item that Titan forges to the power of the same piece of gear that Bobby worked for and earned. I just don't find that to be fair. It's like putting in the hours to get an A in a classroom, then some button. dillweed who sits in the back gets a D, but it Titan forges up to an A. Here's the problem with that fucking bullshit, is whenever both Billy and Bobby apply for the same goddamn job. It, see, it doesn't matter in a vacuum, right? It's like everybody can have all the best gear in the world and it doesn't matter. But we don't live in a vacuum. It's an MMO. You're playing with other people. And because you're playing with other people, if you go into the city and you see somebody that has better gear than you and they put in no effort to get it, it's going to be demoralizing. That's why people get mad about streamers getting good gear in Classic is because they don't feel like the streamers deserve the fucking gear and it devalues their gear that they feel like they worked harder for. It's the same thing in Retail WoW when you have people that are getting getting this really really good gear because they get fucking lucky and getting fucking lucky is not fun it, it, it's not if it was fun then everybody would be like oh wow i love titan forging but almost nobody is saying that people are quitting even faster now because there's <clears throat> nothing that they want to work for that's the problem is like whenever billy billy has his a that he earned and bobby has his a plus that he just oh <laughs> i just wrote my name on the paper and they gave me this grade and then the job interviewer the recruiter is like wow bobby wow you've certainly been doing your homework how about we start you off at $98,000 a year, three weeks paid vacation, and, uh, you know, sick days every other week. I'm like, oh, wow, okay. And Billy, uh, we'll call you, okay? Yeah, did you get, you get Sharon's number? Okay, yeah, uh, just talk to Sharon, and, uh, she'll, she'll, actually, you know what? Yeah, uh, get the security guard. Yeah, go take it, take him out. Yeah, just go ahead and escort him out. Yeah, no, we'll call you. Don't worry about it. 
you know, that's why they're fucking mad. Is because you have these raiding guilds and people are getting, to, they're getting a raid spot decided by RNG. It's not fun. It sucks. How is that fair? It's Would not. you guys like a system like that? Would you support it? Of course not. No. But you know what you guys could support? This video by scrolling down and hitting the like button. I'm not signed in, but like the video. That's okay? right. Please. Everybody go like the video. I don't know how this old god there titan go. forging system is going to work, man, but I do hope it's not the same system with just some purple thrown onto our weapons yeah. now or some new effects added to the drops that make it so you run a raid a million times and you just hope this old god forged version of your sword drops that when you use it, every auto attack has a chance Tentacles. to summon a tentacle that's going to deal 10,000 extra cool. damage. I don't know. Great it's a idea. idea on paper, but I think it's going to be annoying and stupid in its execution. But I, I completely fucking agree. The only way that I'd be okay with that is if there's a deterministic alternative for it. I mean, like, this is the thing, right? It's like classic WoW. Like, why do people like classic? Because you can work for things. People don't like retail WoW because you can't work for your rewards. That's why Benthic Armor was such a success, is because you could work towards that in a deterministic way. You can't work towards any of the other armor in the game now because there's eight different versions to get haste mastery bracers. They could be just as good as the one that you're going after. It's just that you have the highest weighted role whenever you're getting yours. It, it fucking sucks. Benthic armor. Well, Benthic is trash. Oh, yeah. I'm sure it's really bad. Why is Benthic armor bad? Can, can somebody please explain to me why Benthic armor is bad besides classic good retail bad? P please explain why Benthic armor is bad. <clears throat> why is it bad? Sockets? RNG. So, w wait a second. Sockets, best in slot and raid. RNG sockets. You know how you deal with that? Boring fucking traits? I think the traits are fine. He here's why I don't think that's relevant. It is because RNG has always been in the game. I don't think, I think that it's a reasonable compromise and a reasonable expectation that you should have to spend a little bit of time rolling the dice to get an item. The reason why I'm okay with the RNG and Benthic armor is because it's completely within your control. It is a farmable resource outside of raid time and you have multiple options to be able to get it and there are also not really that many ways that you can fuck it up. There's like 18 different possibilities of the item upgrading or sorry, of the item uh, occurring and eventually you will get the item. Right, you guys saw whenever I got it, I got mine pretty fast. Everybody that I know in my guild has full best in slot benthic gear. It's not like the RNG and benthic gear is some far and away impossible thing to reach. The secondary stats on the benthic armor are locked to the type of piece that it is. And so like certain ones have haste mastery, other ones have crit versatility, etc. So you're only really rolling two different things. You're rolling the, uh, the affix and you're rolling the socket. That's it. It's not that hard. It's like a 5% chance. If you can't deal with a 5% chance, just quit playing RPGs. Just, just quit playing them. Because you, 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 don't, you don't like them. There has to be some, some degree of RNG. Like, I don't know if you guys know this, but every single time I kill Ragnaros, the same items don't drop. I think that Benthic gear is fine. I think it's great. I'm a big fan of Benthic gear. I think they should have taken it up to 430 or 440, though with high-end upgrades that you were able to get within the raids, personally. I don't know, more details coming soon. We will see what they've got planned. On the bright side, however, there are also two new allied races coming to this patch. The Volpira are coming to the Horde and the- Okay, sorry, I've got to pause this. Some retarded fucking messages in chat. So you're okay with Titan forging so long as it's named a socket. No. Oh my god. What the fuck, dude? That's not what I said at all. Oh my fucking god. How the fuck do you expect that to be? How, how do you put those two things together? How is Titan Forging like, I'm okay with a certain level of gear RNG that's controllable in repeatable ways. How does that mean that you think that I'm okay with Titan Forging as long as it's sockets? Like, these are completely different fucking things. Jesus Christ, man. RNG, I think some RNG is fine. 
Some RNG is absolutely fine. It's a degree of RNG. The degree is fine. Ha farming for an item that's an 8% drop chance is good. Farming for an item that's a 0.8% chance is not good. Especially if it's 0 0.08, like a lot of stuff gives in the game. Holy fuck, man. I feel like I have to explain the simplest shit. Gear should be gear, no different stats. I, I think that there should be a little bit of variance. But you should be able to control the variance. The, the, the thing is, I want to have the control. Right? That's the thing. It, it, the entire argument you guys are making is, is, is relevant. Like, I, I want the control over being able to do things. I don't want to have a roll of the dice be the only thing that I can do. And, and if there is, I want to be able to roll that dice as much as possible. And actually get the items. In, in a reasonable way. And I think the Benthic Armor solves that. I think Benthic Armor is good. Mechanomes are coming to the Alliance. Now let me be real yeah. with you guys about something. I don't like gnomes. They're a plague on this planet, and yeah. they need to be exterminated on site. Agree. But I'm going to say agree. one thing. Big agree. Mecha gnomes do look kind of cool. They do. I mean, would you look at those little gears and gizmos that are all over them? I don't like the feet. They're stupid. This bitch even has a claw. My girlfriend don't have no claw. Do you have a claw? No. So, yeah. I think the mecha gnomes are kind of neat looking. Damn. I know that my shirt says True Horde on it, but... Yeah. I I'm just not a big fan of tiny fox people. You know, adorable little furry... Okay, Garrosh, you're right. They're not part of the true horde. I don't want foxes and cats in the horde either. Imagine, like, Garrosh is spinning in his fucking grave, th realizing, looking down from, you know, Valhalla or, uh, you know, the Halls of Valor, and he's seeing, uh, you know, Thrall shaking hands with a cat. He's like, oh, welcome to the Horde. He's like, I knew I should have killed that green son of a bitch. Like, I mean, imagine Garrosh was right. No, think about it. He's like shaking hands with a goddamn cat. I'm so tired of this shit, man. I, I, I don't get it, man. He's whatever. It's just, it's not really my cup of tea, but, you know, whatever. Different strokes, different folks. But for those of you who are fans of the older races, kind of like me and, you know, probably a lot of you guys as well, the Goblins and the Worgen, who recently had their models updated yeah. in the previous patch, well, they are getting their own heritage armor sets at long last. The Goblins are getting some dope-looking tech gear, complete with explosions and whatever and worgen they're getting this fancy outfit that both their sets suck like i mean both of the goblin and the worgen sets suck the only reason anybody thinks this is a cool set is because of the hat like i mean really all these sets suck i mean they're like oh wow we get a golden top hat oh boy wow wow now i can play as a as an aristocrat furry who you know that's the only reason they're happy about it the goblin heritage armor set looks like a pot it's a hodgepodge of wrath of the lich king questing gear it's fucking embarrassing and it sucks with a top hat that makes you look like some sort of gilnean lord yeah now that is one sexy ass worgen <laughs> Another thing is the auction oh. house is being completely renovated in this patch. It's being made easier to use and just overall more convenient. That's good. Okay, this is going to be a little bit confusing and hard to explain, but essentially, when you put up items into the auction house, they will not appear as individual listings, but as a They're large sort of commodities. stack within yeah. everybody else's items, I, I think. And this is supposed to eliminate all of those pages of people putting up a single linen cloth for sale. Pages and pages of that, man. So if you throw up 20 linen cloth and somebody yeah. buys 12 of it, you'll get paid only for the 12 and receive the 8 back in the mail. Or something like that. I, I don't know. Now, let's be honest. They could have spent their time investing in World of Warcraft Battle Hero Action Combat Arena. But I guess a change to the auction house is okay, too. Arthas versus Illidan. Begin. In all serious- It's already better than Arena, to be fair. I, I, I am like, so one of the PvP devs tweeted out, he's like, oh, there's some crazy shit coming out for PvP too. And I'm like, awesome. Fucking awesome. Like, I can't wait. Let's see some PvP shit. But, you know, we'll see what's going to happen.
correctness though, Blizzard has said that the point of this whole auction house rework is to reduce lag in the system and just make the auction yeah. house more approachable and more convenient for people to use. Better and not well, be a war fund. If the lag is that bad, Better well, like, not be a I war mean, fund. I guess this is going to be a cool change. Yeah. I guess. I do like the idea of the favorite items tab that you can buy from, however. That's, that's a pretty cool idea. I'm glad that's being added to the base game, but... Eh. All that's really left to say is there is a heroic version of the Darkshore Warfront coming out with this patch. Wow. F fun, I guess. There's some old god additions to mythic keystones being added in to make the runs less repetitive <coughs> and have more engagement. Th I think the old god thing for the mythic plus keystones is going to be fucking badass. You know what I don't think is going to be badass, though? Is the whole thing about the, uh, the Warfront. I don't think that's going to be badass at all. I think it's going to be boring. Warfronts are too easy. <laughs> Blizzard needs to do a better job. They just need to make them PvP. Like, they need to integrate Warfronts into being, like, world events or something like that. Like, because the, the... Like, what they're doing right now with Warfronts, I think, is dumb. Like, I, I don't like it at all. That's pretty cool. For those of you out there who love to slaughter each other in the field of battle, That's me. a new PvP season is about to begin, and all of this will be live on the PTR very soon, if not Truly already, incredible. when this video goes live. So what do I think about this patch overall? That's alright. Really, like the only thing I could complain about is that I'm a bit disappointed that Nazoth isn't getting his own expansion, and he's just gonna be killed off in BFA. Well, at least I assume he's going to be killed off in BFA. We're going to have to wait for the end cinematic. But if he is, really? Like, that's how his story is going to end? It's it's kind of a shame. I think the horrific visions are... Well, like, what else are they going to do? Like, really, like, what would be the ending of Nazoth that people would want to see? Like, I, I don't even know. I, I, I feel like they're going to have to put him in jail again or something like that. Uh, pull a gold in, the Black Empire expansion, imprison him in the dagger. There's no way they can imprison him in a dagger. He's too big. He's not going to fit. Uh, what the fuck do you mean? He flees to the shadow ends. Like, I just don't like the whole idea of like anybody even having a fucking chance against Nazoth. I feel like Nazoth, it's like there are certain things, it's like a big thing like Lord of the Rings, right? But like there are certain things in like movies and like also with like comic books, certain characters that are just so fucking OP, they shouldn't be in the story because nobody has a chance. Like it's like Nazoth is an old god that the literal, the, the literal titans had to go, like, the, the rack, yeah, Galactus, or, uh, well, I mean, like, even, like, yeah, the Galactus is a good example. Sure, Superman is a good example, too, like, to an extent. Uh, yeah, like, Sauron? Not Sauron. The Beyonder, yeah, even more a better example. Goku? Who gives a fuck about that? But the point is that, yes, I, I don't think that we should be able to kill Nazoth. He's too powerful. He's too fucking powerful, man. He's an old god. Pretty neat for an idea. I like the clear progression system that that whole feature is going to offer. Yeah. Rathian coming back is going to be cool from a lore perspective. Old god forging slash new titan forging in the auction house overall. Eh, I mean, I, I don't know, man, but everything seems fine and decent enough, and I'll definitely play a mechanome given the chance. Yeah, I guess. When I... I'm not playing classic. But what do you guys think about all these changes and new features coming to BFA? I mean, what do you think about the fact that BFA is about to end and we're about to see another new World of Warcraft expansion? Tuskar Necromancers are finally coming to the game. Let us know uh, down in what? the comment section below. Let's hear the community's thoughts on this near conclusion to the Battle for Azeroth expansion. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, give it a like. Seriously, like the video. It helps. Sub if you want. Hit the bell for notifications on when I upload a new video, and I will see you guys with my next project. Oh, and one more thing. Penis. <laughs> What can I say? I'm a simple man. That shit's funny, dude. That, hey, hey, yo, he got me, man. Hey. Okay. <coughs> okay. All right. Um, that's actually pretty. 
Okay, um, so, uh, let, let, let's, okay. So, let, let's scroll down here.